Hello, fellow Fiji Duggers and Fiji Duggers wannabe. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to color separate a full color process but without the block. I mean, this is effective only on dark substrates. It, it won't work on light color shirts or or the white, the white yellow, the white shirt. So to start, I have prepared here a photo for this demonstration. First, we are going to We're going to adjust the <coughs> excuse me the brightness of this photo because usually in printing a four color process the image uh, in the final output the image become a little bit darker. So to avoid that, we're going to adjust to just open the image adjustment club and change the content. I'm going to use 25 for this and contrast is about seven highlight is I'm going to five and shadows five. The original. I'm going to do a little more. Next thing is we open this to with coral photo paint to color separate. Convert the image first to CMYP. Now it's become reactor again. Then speed channel. Uh, you have the cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. All you have to do is to copy this. It's plate. Well, the guidelines you just drag the guideline 
and press P to make it in the center. Next, back to auto paint, magenta, and paste again here. Back to just do it one by one. Okay. And lastly, the block. Now, the block to make sure that your finished product in the press will not become darker. And, uh, what I'm doing with this is I'm going to adjust again the brightness. Next is to merge the block with all the three colors, cyan, magenta, and the yellow. You just copy this and press shift. Paste, press shift, and click the yellow, the cyan, and the magenta. And press C on your keyboard and C to center and E to align. And go with cyan, press C and E. And paste and also with magenta, press C and press E. So next is to Press shift and click all the three blocks on top of cyan, magenta, and yellow. Then transparency to multiply. So we have to convert this first into one. So Same way on the not RGB, it, it makes darker. And next, and last is the yellow. Now, because we do not have RIP software, all we are going to do is to convert this manually into halftones. First, I'm going to start with the block. More black and white. 
we are going to use a more appropriate frequency so I'll just use 40 so that, that is the block we will know later on next going to start with the cyan okay, to 40 that is the cyan right click to change the color of the half tones and left click here to remove the background Next is magenta. Uh, excuse me. Forty. Right click and left click. Lastly, I'm going to so process colors are transparent. So we are we are going to make this transparent. So this is not transparent. So going to multiply there it's transparent now so I just click with the two magenta and yellow and control R to redo next we are going to print now and our substrate is I think of course a darker substrate a darker color it would only um, we will use green so I have prepared already the the base for this design and Maybe I will change to what color? Maybe purple. I will stay with the green or right with the purple.
Тебе, да. Cyan, magenta, yellow, and the black. So now your your base should look like this. The block is open. We'll show the substrate, the color of the substrate. And next, we print the the right order. The cyan. Here, this is the your base, the cyan, the magenta, and the yellow. So that's your. So in order for that you can see it clearly how it will look like we're going to convert this to if it will look the same with the original photo or a little closer than the original I'm going to cut this and let's see. So, that's your result. If you have any questions regarding this tutorial, just comment down below. And I'm going to put uh, some additional links. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video.